I'm going to try to give you a more detailed instruction on making a storage jar with a label painted on it. I am using the Decor Art Glass paint marker. I posted a freebie uh, font or label pay, uh, picture on my Renegade Upcycled Goods Facebook page. And I printed out the label, carefully lined up the bottom of the paper with the bottom of the jar so that the letters were at the height that I wanted and made sure it was pretty straight across. Put a little piece of tape to hold it in place. Then I'm going to shake my marker and the camera too, it looks like. Um, and then show you how you need to rotate the glass so that you don't get distortion. If you look at the glass, you can see that it bends here. So if I look at this, oh, come on, get in focus. If I look at this, and that looks like the point of the R, see when I go straight at it, it's not at the point anymore. It looks like it's on the point over here, but when I get straight over it, it's not quite at the point. And same thing here. It looks like I'm right at the edge of the P, but when you turn it, well, the paper moved. So, but you kind of get the idea here. Let's see. Let's see. I'll be right at the edge of the P and turn it, and I'm actually over the edge of the P. So you want to keep rotating the glass as you write on it. But first, I need to wipe it with rubbing alcohol so that it removes grease and, and um, from my hands, just now applying this label and, um, and any soap residue that's on there. Okay, I'm using 70% rubbing alcohol. And then just wipe that. I have it on this paper towel, you can see. And then I wipe that paper towel on there. Okay, so now after shaking the pen, letting the alcohol dry on here, then decap the pen. I'm just using a scrap receipt. Press down so paint comes out. And then you use that to draw, which, or in this case, trace, which I don't think I could do while holding the camera <laughs> and have it in focus. But let's see, let's give it a try. So try not to touch the glass where you're going to be writing with your hand because um, if you get oils from your hand on the glass, then the paint will come off more easily. Let's see if I can hold the camera. And not really, kind of hard to do. I'm usually holding the glass in um, one my left hand instead of a camera so I can get a better angle. So let's see. Well, I'm not even, I can't uh, really do it right this way. I'll have to erase this and try again because that's a mess. So hold on, I'll be back. Um, I need to get my hand in a comfortable position. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm so, already recording. Oh, you are? I didn't want you to do that. Because I'm not editing this. I was making it so that it's edited as I film. Because I don't have editing software that's working right now. So I made the S looking pretty much straight down on it. And then I have to keep turning it. Can you see that, Christy? Mm -hmm. I have to keep turning it as I do each letter, sometimes even in the middle of a letter, so that 
it stays lined up so I'm looking straight down not getting the distorted uh, view from the curved part of the glass All right. just keep turning and if you mess up with this you can wipe it off while it's still wet wipe it with some alcohol after you wipe it off make sure it's all clean because if it's not clean then it's not going to stick very well and it's more about with this font anyway I think it, it's more about ha giving a nice smooth line than it is about being exactly in the exact same spot. So I try to give the feel of the font as to opposed to worrying if I went a little bit off. And as I turn it, I need to be careful that I don't smear the paint with my other hand. There we go. And then that gets uh, set aside to dry. And then you bake that in the oven. This one says air cure eight hours. So I let it sit overnight and then bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. You put it in the oven before it's hot. Otherwise, the sudden change in temperature will break your glass. And then you let the let it cool off in the oven and then take it out. And I've had success using this Deco Art Glass paint marker uh, in the dishwasher. I wouldn't put on pots and pans, but it's been working pretty well in the dishwasher. Stop. One last note, be sure to take the paper out before you bake this in the oven.